Morning, Mr. Little. Heading to church. Why don't you go ahead and hop on in? Oh, come on, Mr. Little. I know you like it. It's got to be better than what you're doing. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Church is boring, or I've got stuff to do, or John, you don't shower regularly, <laughs> okay? That's it. I, I ain't playing games no more. Get in the car. Miss, get in the car. Don't make me come over. You think I won't come over there? You think I won't come over there? I will come over there. I will pick you up, put you in my pocket, carry you across the street, put you in this car, strap you in, and take you to church. And if you think I'm playing, <laughs> if you think I'm playing, <laughs> you just try me. Try me. I'm a secret agent, and your life is in extreme danger. You need to get in this car right now. All right, now you blew it. Now I don't even want you in the car. Matter of fact, don't get up, don't come in the car on the passenger side and buckle the safety belt, because you are not allowed in my car. This is a no Mr. Little zone. Please come with me. <laughs> if I bring somebody to church, I get a free item from the cafe. Look at me. Do you really want to come between me and a free Davis? Okay, I think I got it. Mr. Little, would, would you like to go to church with me? Yes. That's brilliant. <laughs> brilliant, I say. I'm a genius. <laughs> The vast majority of unchurched people are likely to come to church if invited, but only a handful of people ever invite even their friends or family. So many times we think of all the people who would benefit from the great teaching when we are already in church. This week, find the right words and invite them. Encourage them, or even pick them up. So many people just need to be asked. Okay, showtime. Morning, Mr. Little. 